Yeah, man. What's going on? Spare the moment, man. I wasn't even going to do this one, man. But, I, hey, man, I woke up with this on my mind. I woke up with it on my mind. So I said, you know what? Who better to do it but me? The reason why I say who better to do this but me because I'm not biased. I ain't got a dog in this fight. I'm just here to bring some logic and some understanding. You know, uh, I'm not here to take 600 side. I'm not here to take big U side. I'm not here to take spider Loak side. I'm here to be the voice of reason. The voice of reason, man. And that's what I'm going to give you. So if you want to hear some of the realest shit you're going to hear about this topic, tap into the conversation and hit the like button, man. We're getting ready to go up. We're getting ready to go in. Right? It is what it is. You know. So I woke up this morning, man. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I saw the video last night when Spider Lope, Spider Lope pulled up to the uh, to the PJ, to the uh, PJ Watts projects and he caught a fade. Right. Now, a lot of people, man, I um, matter of fact, I was watching YouTube and it came across my feet, my feet. And I seen Spider Lope out there in the projects catching a fade, man. And uh, to be honest about it, man, it was like. I mean, without like I, I I have nothing bad to say, but I gotta be honest. That was a terrible fight, man. That was a terrible fight. You know, and, and uh to be real with you, most fades look like that because and I know a lot of people gonna get offended because most guys are emotional. I get it, I understand the world we live in, but that was a terrible fight, bro. What you seen was two older guys that was out of shape that don't need to be fighting. If anything, they need if anything, they need to be the voice of reason to promote more positivity to get the youngsters to go in a whole nother direction. That fight was terrible. Nobody ever said it was 600, bro. Please pay attention. Nobody said he pulled up to fight 600. He pulled up to the projects to fight somebody else, not 600. Pay attention, please. It's very important that you guys pay attention before you leave comments. You know, that's all I'm saying. Pay close attention. Nobody ever said that he fought 600. He pulled up to fight some other nigga in the projects. You know, I don't know who it was, man. Maybe it was one of his homeboys from the set. Maybe it was a nigga from the PJs. I don't know. The point is this, my nigga. The fight was terrible. It looked like two older guys that was well past their prime out there fighting when it when it's like I, I get it you can say on the other hand you can say okay well he was a man about it he pulled up to catch the fade okay cool i give him that but to be honest with you but to be honest with you my nigga to be honest with you man that fight was terrible and it's, and, and check this out Mike Tyson was a professional boxer. I don't even want to see Mike Tyson get in the ring at 50 plus years old. I just don't want to see it. I have no interest in watching that Mike Tyson fight. I don't want to see senior citizens uh, getting out there to catch no face. I'm not I'm not interested, man. You know, so the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul, I, I'm not I don't want to see a 50 plus year old Mike Tyson get in the ring. I, I just don't want to see that. You know, to each his own, though, to each his own. Maybe you guys do want to see it. <laughs> it wasn't 600 man that wasn't 600 who who caught that fade uh with, with spider loke in the projects that that it wasn't that it was some other nigga that spider loke pulled up to catch that fade with now i think about it now i'm gonna get into the spider loke fade right after this but first we're gonna sit up there and discuss 600 and then we're gonna get into the fade then we're gonna get into the fade thing now What I notice about YouTube is this, man. Get the likes up for your boy. Nah, it's good, bro. It's good. It's all good. It's all good, my brother. You know, I don't come here to argue with my people, man. I come here to show love and, and spread knowledge and spread awareness, man. So it's all love, my brother. It ain't, it ain't no thing. We good over here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my brothers in the chat, man. We finna have a reasonable, logical conversation about these things that's been taking place in these Los Angeles streets. You know, and um, but this is what I'm going to say. A lot of these YouTubers 
all they do is stir the pot all day. And, and, and to be real with you, I'm not going to make content about this no more, man. I'm going to get back to my original content. I'm going to talk about street shit, but from a conscious, logical perspective. I don't want to post content uh, instigating these hood beefs like most of these other YouTube channels do. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at most of these YouTube channels, all they do is instigate hood hood beef. So-and-so said this. WAC 100 said this. And, and, and all they do is instigate these beefs. Their whole channels is dedicated to L.A. hood drama. Their whole channels is dedicated to L.A. hood gossip, L.A. hood drama. And you know who these niggas are. I ain't got to say their names. Every post they make every day is about some type of hood gossip. 600 is got marked out and let me say something to you niggas man to be the voice of reason to all you niggas that's running around saying that spider low marked out 600 you niggas have no critical thinking skills man you niggas have no critical thinking skills at all there's no way and i'm gonna be real i don't have nothing against spider low but there's no way that spider low is gonna win the fight versus 600 and another thing let me say this when Spider Lope pulled up to that parking lot, he had a gang of niggas with him that wanted to fight 600. Why would 600 pull up to fight five or six niggas when he when when the whole purpose was for him and Spider Lope to catch the fade? So to all you niggas that's running around saying that 600 got marked out by Spider Lope, you niggas have no critical thinking skills. I promise you. And that's another reason why I'm fed up with the content, because a lot of the people who consume this content, they're stupid. They're idiots. They lack critical thinking skills. Anybody with common sense would say, well, hold on. Spider Lope wasn't by himself. He had like four other niggas. He had four other people. It was four other niggas with him that wanted to fight 600. So how can you say that Spider Lope marked out 600? It makes no sense. It'd be one thing if it was like, one person, a cameraman, and it was like it, it was mutual combat. But no, Spider Loak had a gang of niggas with him. So to all you niggas that's making videos saying that 600 got marked out, you niggas are dumb, man. You niggas lack common sense. My God. I, and, and, and that's another reason why I quit making content about this, because the people who consume this content, they're, cheerle they're cheerleaders, they're instigators, they're idiots. And listen, this ain't got nothing to do with me taking 600 side. I just got to call a spade a spade. You know, I'm just calling a spade a spade. Oh, 600 got marked out, man. You niggas are idiots. And like I say, these YouTubers and these bloggers, they're making this shit worse because every day they post, they post multiple videos daily instigating the drama trying to egg everybody on and these be niggas with no profile pictures fake profile pictures nobody knows who they are but they stay posting bullshit about uh hood drama hood gossip all day it's several a channel it's several niggas that make videos about that and you like i say you you realize who these cats are right and he said why he said this is why la is the way it is yeah shout out to you my brother you recognize gang recognize gang I mean, all these niggas do is post videos about negativity that's going on in L.A. And, and the sad part about it is they have favoritism. And a lot of niggas will say, well, yeah, he got marked. How? How did 600 get marked out when spider Loke had a gang of niggas with him that wanted to fight 600? If 600 would have pulled up, he would have had six phase to run. Now, why would I pull up to catch six phase when I only want to fight spider Loke? What sense does that make? And what's even dumber is the niggas that saying, yeah, 600 got marked out. Sometimes I think about this shit and I understand how the white man kept us in slavery for so long. Because we got some dumb ass niggas in our community who lack critical thinking skills. Now, I guarantee you wouldn't pull up to fight 600. I mean, I'm being real with you, goon. Most people that saying 600 got marked out will not pull up to take his fade. And if you had common sense, you would see my point. You would say, damn, that is true. spider Loak had like, it was like four of the niggas that wanted to catch 600's fade. So why would 600 pull up to a spot where a gang of niggas who don't like him when it was only meant for him and spider Loak to catch a fade? How did he get marked out? That doesn't make sense. But then, like I said, we're not living in a, 
uh common sense ain't common no more and that's that's a prime example of why common sense ain't common no more it's just a bunch of cheerleaders egging on hood drama a bunch of cheerleaders instigating hood gossip that's what you got all over youtube especially in los angeles it's gotten so bad with the hood gossip to where you got niggas who don't have talent all they do is just post what whack 100 said about spider low what 600 said about big you who didn't pull up for the fade now at some point i get it we have to address these things i'm not saying that we can't never address it but when you dedicate your whole channel to hood gossip you're terrible my nigga you have no talent and it's niggas like you who make this it's niggas like that that make these beasts worse niggas like that make these situations worse because all they do is instigate that shit all day you know what i'm saying that's all they do is instigate this shit now look at some of these comments in these comment sections when they say well oh man he he yeah 600 use critical thinking skills my nigga why would 600 be scared of spider loke that doesn't even make sense and shout out to spi i don't have nothing against spi or 600 but let's use common sense my nigga spider loke is not in shape he's not going to the gym he's not working out not by a long shot so why would 600 be scared to catch a fade with spider low how dumb are you niggas to believe that seriously like how dumb you niggas got to be that somebody like 600 who's got in the ring who works out why would you think that he would be afraid to catch a fade with spider low that proves that a lot of you niggas have low iqs and you have no common sense zero critical thinking skills a lot of you niggas you just roll with popular opinion because right now popular opinion says this 600 got marked up by spider low that's popular opinion that is popular opinion well this is no this is what i'm going to tell you this is what i'm going to tell you the truth is this if 600 pulled up to catch a fade with one nigga he gonna have to catch a fade with five niggas now some people might say well he need to catch his dp he need to just catch his dp maybe so i'm not talking about the dp the 600 deserve a dp in his hood i don't know that's up for the 60s to decide i'm talking about some man-to-man -man shit i'm not talking about who deserves a dp that's that's up for the 60s in the neighborhoods to decide mainly sick because he's from 60 i got enough common sense to know this if 600 pulled up to a fade right now it's gonna be a gang of niggas that's gonna try to fight him it ain't gonna be one man catching his fade that's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen now what i will say is this 600 bro you got success you got a career you got your company you making money why do you want to why do you want to stoop down to these hood niggas level all they can do is get on the internet and, and gossip and stir up negativity in hopes to get a name on the internet 600 ain't got to do that but it seems like 600 wants hood clout so bad that he's lower he's lowering himself down to the average hood niggas level and he ain't got to do that so if you ask me 600 you going backwards by even entertaining this hood gossip you're going backwards by entertaining this hood drama so that's my constructive criticism to uh 600 you're going out backwards my bro you ain't even got to do this shit some of these niggas that's all they got they ain't got nothing else going on so all they gonna do is entertain hood drama entertain hood gossip instigate hood beefs that's all them niggas got they ain't got nothing else to talk about besides that so that's the constructive criticism that i got for 600 like bro you going out backwards doing these live streams uh, uh even engaging in these hood politics it's a waste of time my nigga because all it's gonna do is bring negativity your way my boy all it's doing is bringing negativity to your way my nigga and another thing is this uh i would say fall back off the big you thing man he been taunting big you too much man calling big you a snitch and and what you think that's gonna do of course a gang of niggas gonna want to catch a fade with you if you call him big you a snitch and, and, and just going out of your way to destroy that man's reputation well it's gonna bring negative heat your way and i get it i understand that so if i was 600 man i would fall back on the big you campaign the big you smear campaign you should fall back on that homie it ain't it ain't worth it because all is like i said my nigga all it's doing is bringing negativity your way so fall back on the big you thing man now this is what i want to do 
let's hear what 600 had to say because 600 said that uh uh big you called the police on one of their homegirls and i've heard big you speak on it himself and say the only reason why he called the police because she was gonna call the police on him so the whole thing is just tricky so my thing is this i don't have a dog in this fight if we're gonna call 600 a cop well you got to say the same thing to big you because if big you called the police now i don't know why big you called the police but then some people will say well you shouldn't call the police under no circumstances under no circumstances should a gang member a gang banger be calling the police for anything now let's see what 600 had to say about that because 600 said that big U's a snitch and he called the police on one of the homegirls now if that's true and i think it is true because i heard big U address the fact that he had to call the police on his bra for doing something i don't know but let's see what 600 had to say about it then after that we're gonna get into the spider low fade and, and break down the politics of it homie and keep in mind, I'm not here to instigate anything. I would hope that these niggas can talk it out like men and quit bringing these hood politics to the Internet. Because when you do that, you give all these goofy ass bloggers and YouTubers with no content. You give them stuff to talk about. Now, they're going to make a million videos about 600 big you. And they're just going to keep the gossip. They're going to keep the gossip going because that's all they got. They have nothing positive to promote the people. No critical thinking. All they do is entertain negativity with their YouTube channels, homie. Now, let's see what 600 had to say about this, man. Um, a lot of people think I'm trying to, like, turn people against people. What do I mean by that? A lot of people think I'm trying to expose rats and busters so people cannot mess with them or people can turn against them. It's not true. Let me say this real quick, man. If you think that Spider Low marked out 600, it shows me that you're not too smart. You're not intelligent at all. You just, you're not intelligent. I, I'm being real. I understand how white people kept us in captivity for so long because a lot of you niggas don't have common sense. You just go out, whatever popular opinion is, you roll with that. You ain't got enough common sense to think things out to see what's true for yourself. Spider Low had like four niggas with him that wanted to line it up with 600. And if I'm 600, why would I pull up to fight four niggas when it's just supposed to be me? It's just supposed to be between me and spider Low catching the fade. I don't know. I'm going to pull up and catch all these fades with these niggas. Let me handle my business with spider Low. Let me handle my business with spider Low. I'll deal with you niggas later. Yeah, I'm going to deal with you niggas later. I'm not saying that 600 shouldn't catch the fades with them other niggas, but it's a time and a place for everything. If it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one fade between spider Loke and 600, let it be that. Why you got to get all these other niggas involved in it? So if you're going to say that he, 600 got marked out by spider Loke, well, you niggas, you niggas lack critical thinking skills. And when I think about the bigger picture, I see how white folks kept us in captivity for so long. Because a lot of you niggas don't have the ability to think for yourself. That's the problem. Now, did 600 bring a lot of this heat on himself by talking about Big U? Yes, he did. I would have to say he did bring a lot of this heat on himself for calling the homie snitches, for calling Big U snitches. Now, is, is it true or not? I don't know. 600, 600 can be telling the truth about a lot of this shit. But regardless if it's true or not, he brought a lot of this heat on himself by getting on camera and exposing Big U. Let's go. I got my squad. We solid. We the ones got the high standards. I'm just trying to see where y'all at to see how our relationship going to be moving forward. To see how I'm going to deal with you, how I'm going to look at you, okay? <laughs> I'm sending this PSA to all my homies. Everybody, all my homies, right? Do you think Big U is all bad? Based on, y'all know the rules. You hang with a rat, you just as guilty as being a rat. All right? So we're going to start there. Before we get into all his stuff that he did, we're going to start there because I seem to know a lot of things. Big U condones snitching with Cowboy. He hangs out with Cowboy. He invites Cowboy to his celebrity basketball games. Cowboy is a high-risk sex offender who told on two homies, took the stand on one and made statements on the other. These are facts. He never denied that. With that alone, Big U should have been voted off the island. All right? Now, 
Big U told on Eddie Boy. Y'all know I know Eddie Boy. I talk to him every day. Eddie Boy gave me the paperwork. Eddie Boy also gave all the homies the paperwork 30 years ago. A hundred people in the law library. They ignored it. All right. With that being said, do y'all think dude is a rat? All right. Y'all got that? Big U just a few weeks ago went on camera, recorded himself, telling the hotel lobby to call the police on a homegirl. Now, people said that Big U called the police on a homegirl. I heard Big U address that. Big U gave his 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 reason for why he called the police on a girl, right? Now, some people would say, well, damn, if he called the police, he's a snitch, right? Now, you got a lot of people calling 600 a cop, and I guess they have their reasons, right? Because 600 has a close relationship with the cops. It makes you think, well, damn, how come he's so cool with the cops? How did he show up to get a badge from the police and he gave them a free membership at his gym? So I understand why people would say that. But listen, if we're going to call a spade a spade, we're going to call a spade a spade. I get it because they say, well, hold on, he's too comfortable with the cops. But then again, if he's not, I'll, I'll get into that later. But at the same time, how do you guys feel about Big U calling the police on one of the homegirls? How do you guys feel about that? Now, if 600 is a cop for that, then surely Big U got to be a cop too. So we can't call him a cop for doing something suspect but not say, but not have the same smoke for him. See, that's what I mean by selective politicking. And this, this is why I'm pretty much done with this L.A. content, this L.A. hood politics, because you niggas, you're not logical. You're not reasonable. You will call one nigga out for something, but you will overlook another nigga that's doing something similar. So you select the politicking. That is why I'm I'm, I'm pretty much going to be done with this content because you niggas don't use common sense. You don't use logic and you selective politic. And it's all based on who you like. So I want I want to get y'all thoughts in the comments. How do you guys feel about Big U calling the police on the homegirl? Now, I don't know the details, but some people will say, well, it don't matter. Under no circumstances should you as an OG call the cops or anybody. Let's go. High risk sex offender who told on two homies, took the stand on one and made statements on the other. These are facts. He never denied that. With that alone, Big U should have been voted off the island. You just as guilty as being a rat. All my homies. Everybody, all my homies, right? Do you think Big U is all bad? Based on, y'all know the rules. You hang with a rat, you just as guilty as being a rat, all right? So we're going to start there. Before we get into all his stuff that he did, we're going to start there because y'all seem to know a lot of things. Big U condones snitching with Cowboy. He hangs out with Cowboy. He invites Cowboy to his celebrity basketball games. Cow now, how do y'all feel about Big U hanging out with Cowboy? People say Cowboy is a rat. People say that Cowboy is a sex offender. Now... Some could argue that, well, if Big U is solid, how does he condone Cowboy? If, B if Big U is solid, how could he call the police on homegirl? But you got a gang of niggas that's still cool with Big U, and they call 600 a cop. Well, if you're going to call 600 a cop, surely you got to call Big U a cop. You can't be selective politicking with it, my nigga. If you real, you got to be real all across the board. I ain't got a dog in this fight. I'm just calling a spade a spade. How do y'all feel about big you still co-signing cowboy i want to get y'all i want to get y'all honest opinion on that cowboy is a high risk sex offender who told on two homies took the stand on one and made statements from the other these are facts he never denied that with that alone big you should have been voted off the island all right now big you told on eddie boy y'all know i know eddie boy i talk to him every day eddie boy gave me the paperwork Eddie Boy also gave all the homies the paperwork 30 years ago. A hundred people in the law library. They ignored it, all right? With that being said, do y'all think dude is a rat? All right? Y'all got that? Big U just a few weeks ago went on camera, recorded himself, telling the hotel lobby to call the police on the homegirl. Before anything was thrown or anything, he said, you're bullying. Can you call the police? Stayed there till the police came, executed a private person's arrest, went online the next day, recorded himself saying, 
if she wants him, him to drop the charges, she has to come to the hood and get her issue. If I let me ask you a question. Now he did say that. Big U said it. If she want him to drop the charges, she need to come to the hood and settle that. Now, how do you guys feel about Big U calling the police on a homegirl? Now, for whatever, maybe he had his reasons, but then again, if we stick into the G code, there's no excuse to call the police on another homie or a homegirl under any circumstances so how do you guys feel about the act these accusations but then again it's not an accusation because big U admitted it big U said he had to call the police on old girl because if he didn't call the police she would have called the police on him it was weird to me that listening to the conversation was just weird but let me know how y'all feel about big U calling the cops on old girl man went on camera recorded himself Telling the hotel lobby to call the police on the homegirl <laughs> before anything was thrown or anything. He said, "You're bullying. Can you call the police?" Stayed there till the police came. Executed a private person's arrest. <laughs> Went online the next day. Recorded himself saying, "If she wants him, him to drop the charges, she has to come to the hood and get her issue." If I let me ask you a question. If I did that. If I say, hey, you seem like you bullying, can you call the police? Wait till the police come, get her a charge, and then go on live next day and say, hey, yeah, if you want me to drop these charges, you know what I'm saying, you got to come to the hood and get your issue. Would y'all say I'm a rat? So I'm asking all my homies, is Big U a rat? Now, if you say yes, I'm rocking with you because you got morals and principles and you got a backbone. If you say no, you know use the buster and that's not how we was raised if you say no comment you know use the buster because that's not how we was raised if you say oh i ain't got nothing to do with that use the buster and that ain't how we was raised see this see? is why i i'm not gonna make no more I, I i'm fed up with this content and i'm tired of talking about it because it's too much selective politicking you got a gang of niggas making videos calling out 600 for being a rat allegedly a cop but these same niggas ain't got a problem with big you so that's what i mean by selective politicking if they like you they'll overlook your accusations they'll overlook the fact that you got a bad reputation if they like you they'll look past it but what they'll do is they'll criticize another nigga that they don't like for similar accusations that's selective politicking and I ain't got a dog in this fight. I ain't got nothing against Big U or 600, but I got to call a spade a spade, my nigga. Dude, we got to separate the real from the fake, bro. Ain't no more time to play and dudes being cool and all that. Come out and show what you were standing on. Show you got a backbone. No more time to play games. Is dude all bad? <laughs> Cast your vote. Is he voted off the island or on the island? My vote is he's off the island. Every homie y'all see from my neighborhood, ask them that. If they don't say anything other than dude's a rat, then dude, whoever you're asking that question to is a buster and a rat harbor, a rat lover, and a buster lover. We're going to say it like that. Don't even call my phone. Don't text me. You don't know me if you don't say dude's a rat for that. Because if anybody else did that, you would try and nail him to the cross. If I was on there saying that doing things that he did, anybody else in America was doing that, y'all say dude's a rat. If y'all don't say dude's a rat, you're harboring a rat. 600 got a point because if he was caught calling the police, do you know all these niggas who hate 600 would have made millions of videos? Oh, 600 called the police. They would have made 1 million videos about that. But see, this is the thing. You got more people who like Big U than 600. But 600 was right. Imagine if 600 would have did what Big U was accused of. Every one of these YouTube vloggers would have made several videos saying that 600 is a snitch and here's the proof. But see, the thing about it is if they're cool with you, you can have those same you can have those same accusations. But if they cool with you, they'll overlook that shit because they selective politic. That's what these niggas do. So at this point, how could you even take this gang banging shit serious when you know all niggas do is selective politic? They'll overlook that shit if they like you. But if they don't like you, then they'll make millions of videos calling you out for being a so-called rat. That's what these niggas do. And a rat harbor, a rat lover, and a buster lover. 
We're going to say it like that. Don't even call my phone. Don't text me. You don't know me. If you don't say dude's a rat for that, because if anybody else did that, you would try and nail him to the cross. Mm -hmm. If I was on there saying that, doing things that he did, anybody else in America was doing that, y'all say dude's a rat. If y'all don't say dude's a rat, you're harboring a rat. Y'all know how I go. Go back and do the numbers. What's up, homie? Come back and do the numbers. And y'all let me know what type of numbers y'all think. We weeding everybody out today. It's the last day. We're not playing no more games. Now, somebody said, uh, I'm a 600 sympathizer. I just told you what 600 went wrong. Um, you know, when you say that 70% of the homies is bad, well, you got to expect for the whole hood to politic against you. Whether you right or wrong at that point, niggas going to politic against you because that's just how it goes. You know, I understand that. Now, I want you to see this. This will happen right here with Big U and old girl. Check this out. This old girl that Big U got into it with. No, I said I said that uh 600 need to stay off the Internet. Hood politics. He need to stay off the Internet. Keep the hood politics off the Internet because 600 really don't need that. 600 got other things going on for himself. But for some reason, he want this YouTube clout. And that's going to be 600's downfall. Right. And I, I, and I know and I understand why you guys say what you say, like, damn, 600 is too cool with the police. I agree with it because because uh, when you cool with the police, when you cool with the police like that, you leave room for allegations. Now people going to come with snitch allegations just based on the close relationship that you got with the LAPD. Well, let this is how I say you niggas are selective politicking. Big U has a relationship with the LAPD. You don't think that Big U is in contact with LAPD? So once again, you selected politics. And if we're going to call 600 out for that shit, then we got to call Big U out for that shit. But you niggas love to selective politics. Now, this is the bra right here. They got into it with Big U. This is the clip right here. SG, SKG attacks Big U, exclusive video. And then I'm going to let y'all hear Big U's response to why he did what he did dealing with this bra, man. Did you put your hands on me? Did you put your hands on me? Never even seen you. fucking bully. You the fucking bully. I think you're bully. Did you put your hands on me? Nigga, the fucking bully. Did you you lock me in the spot? I think you're bullying right now. No, did you lock me in the spot? I think you're, can you call the police? Yeah, call the police. Call them now. Keep the weapon back. See, Big U asked the people, can you call the police? Now, she's recording Big U. And she's trying to set, I I understand where Big U is coming from, because Big U like, oh, this bitch trying to set me up. Matter of fact, can you call the police? So Big U asked the people in the lobby to call the police on the broad. So that is Big U saying, yeah, can y'all call the police on this broad? Now, I don't know how you guys feel about Big U asking the people to call the police. How y'all feel about that? Give me your honest thoughts in the comments. Did you put your hands on me? Did you put your hands on me? Never even seen me. You fucking bully? You the fucking bully. I think Did you're you bully. I think, I think you're bullying right now. I think you're, can you call the police? Yeah, call the police. Call them now. Even though I can press charges for what you did. To me. You see that? Yeah. Did you lock me in the spot? We don't love recording inside the hotel. Did you try to blackball me? I think you're mentally. You fucking bully? Did you? Did you? You fucking bully? Did you just throw something at me? Did you fucking bully? Did you see that? Nigga, if I have my work, I'll blow your bitch ass. Oh, if I had my blower, I'd blow your bitch ass down. Now, that's a threat. That is a threat. Saying, oh, nigga, I'd do this. So how do y'all feel about Big U? Do you feel like Big U was in the right for calling the police on this broad, man? Let me know. We don't love recording inside the hotel. Did you try to blackball me? I think you're meant to be. You fucking bully? Did you? Did you? You fucking bully? Did you just throw something at me? Did you see that? Nigga, if I have my work, I'll blow your bitch ass back. You fucking bully. Did you almost make me lose my fucking baby? Did you put your hands on me? Now, she's accusing Big U of putting his hands on her before. I don't know if Big U ever put his hands on his broad before, but she's accusing Big U of abusing her, putting his hands on her. Now, we know that females lie, and I'm not going to take a broad word for it just because she said it, because bitches lie. We know they lie. But the fact that this is going on is crazy. 
the fact that Big U is even caught up in some bullshit like this is just mind boggling. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like everybody's calling the police. Everybody's involved with the police. Street niggas, gang bangers, dope dealers. It seemed like everybody's involved with the police to a certain extent. This is why I just fell back from all this hood shit because I realized it's phony. Everybody's telling. And, and and the niggas and you got a bunch of niggas on the sidelines, selective politicking while all these motherfuckers is telling. Way is it's way too much selective politicking. I don't want nothing to do with it no more. You can't even reach niggas with logic and common sense. We don't like recording inside the hotel. Did you try to blackmail me? I think you're Did you? Did you? You fucking bully? Did you just throw something at me? Did you see that? Nigga, if I have my work, I'll blow your bitch ass back. You fucking bully. Right, Did you almost make me lose my fucking baby? Did you put your hands on me? <laughs> you fucking bully. This nigga's a bully. This nigga's a fucking bully. Wow, this nigga's a bully. Call the police. You bully ass nigga. Did you put your hands on me? This nigga's a woman beater. See, you, you heard that shit, man. Now, here go Big U. I think this is, I'm going to show you what Big U had to say about this now. She kept saying that that nigga Big U, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. How the fuck Big U get involved in some shit like that? That being said, I was moving out money. Hold on, I want y'all to hear Big U's response. I want to give Big U a chance to respond to this to this bullshit, man. I want y'all to hear Big U's response on why he did what he did concerning his broad, man. Where the receipts at? I can whoop her and everybody who was with her. See, now Big U was telling you why he did what he did. Now, I'm not saying Big U didn't have his reasons because it seemed like the broad was trying to line Big U up to get to get arrested. But I, I guess Big U feel like, OK, I'm going to beat you to the punch, bitch. I'm going to call the police first. You ain't going to get me locked up, bitch. I'm going to call the police first. <laughs> Shout out to Big U, man. I ain't got no problem with Big U. You ain't going to never see me slandering Big U, man. But I'm saying if we're going to politic, we got to politic. And we can't be selective about that shit. Call a spade a spade, my nigga, if we're going to speak on it. Now, let's see what my, my, my nigga had to say. I can whoop these names by all names. <laughs> step in front of me. And they got ask They know where I'm at. <laughs> but if you come to a business event and I'm at a business event, I'm going to be on business and I'm on business. Um, She knew where we were. Uh -huh. She could have said what she said and kept moving. But no. She said a lot of things before the camera came on <laughs> that wasn't recorded. Then she said, get the camera, which made me get my phone to start recording. She was the first one to say she was going to call the police on me for what I had done to her. So I said, yeah, call the police <laughs> so they can see what she doing. She was the one doing all the stuff. You see it, the threats and all that. And then she assaulted me. I'm going to say this to every young man. She did. She said, if I if I had the pistol, I would do this. Shout out to my man Marvin for the 25. Shout out to Desmond for the uh the 10. Shout out to uh uh Trayvon, man, for the 15. Support the show, support the content, man. Some of the realest content about these street hood politics, because I'm not biased, I just give you guys the facts. You know, a lot of these niggas gonna come on here and Oh, 600 got marked out by Spider. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. And any of you niggas who believe that 600 was scared to fight Spider, you niggas lack critical thinking skills and you are not intelligent at all. You just roll with popular opinion. How sad is that? Now, let's get back to this right here. Big U said the woman assaulted him and made threats. And that's why he called the police on the broad to protect himself. That's what he said. I'm going to be on business and I'm on business. That's what he said. Um, she knew where we were. She could have said what she said and kept moving, but no. <laughs> she said a lot of things before the camera came on that wasn't recorded. Then she said, "Get the camera," 
which made me get my phone to start recording. She was the first one to say she was going to call the police on me for what I had done to her. So I said, yeah, call the police so they can see what she doing. She was the one doing all the stuff. You see it, the threats and all that. And then she assaulted me. I'm going to say this to every young man in every situation. I watch a lot of my brothers fall because they can't be the woman. You can't be the woman in court. And you can't be the woman who says you did something to her. This woman, before she knew I had filmed her, and I, in fact, was going to file charges on her. She was saying that I harassed her. And that was the thing she See, was He just told you he filed charges on her. No, Big U told the, po he told the people, hey, man, call the police. So it's a fact that Big U said, hey, man, call the police on this bra. She assaulted me and she made threats. And Big U said he pressed charges on the bra. Now, I don't know. Maybe she was trying to frame Big U. And you got to think, man, Big U was an older man. Big U ain't got no time to be going back and forth to court. So Big U was probably like, you know what? I'm going to beat her to the punch. You're going you gonna to say this about me? Okay, bitch, I'm going to call the police on you so that I can protect myself. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on it. Do you feel like Big U was in the wrong for calling the police? Or do you feel like Big U was in the right to protect himself? Hey, man, call the police on this bra, my nigga. She tripping. Give me your thoughts. Yeah, call the police so they can see. He said get the camera in which made me get my phone to start recording. She was the first one to say she was going to call the police on me for what I had done to her. So I said, yeah, call the police so they can see what she doing. <laughs> she was the one doing all the stuff. You see it, the threats and all that. And then she assaulted me. I'm going to say this to every young man in every situation. I watch a lot of my brothers fall because they can't be the woman. You can't be the woman in court. And you can't be the woman who says you did something to her. This woman, before she knew I had filmed her and I, in fact, was going to file charges on her, she was saying that I harassed her. And that was the thing she was saying. So I knew this. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I had to protect myself. And yes, she threw a bottle at me, not once, not twice. You know what I'm saying? But she also threw all kind of threats that she can't follow up on. If she's a man, I've damaged her. I ain't letting no man get away with that because we ain't going to do what we do. But you think it's right for her to be able to assault me? And she know I ain't going to do nothing to her in public? Because she just accused me and lied on me saying all these other accusations. No. You don't get to be a bully. Threaten me, hit me with objects in front of people, and then turn around and reverse it on me. Then you call a weirdo after y'all play don't go right and I don't bite. You call a weirdo. You and the weirdo on the phone immediately. The first person you call after you get into it with somebody, you don't call your boyfriend, your husband, your man, you call the weirdo. Plan disrupted. Everybody know. Oh, she called WAC 100. Now, you know WAC 100 was going to be all over. You know what she did? She ran to WAC 100. That's exactly what she did. And you know WAC 100 being WAC 100. Hell yeah, my nigga WAC 100 going to sit up there and interview. WAC, WAC, on, WAC 100 going to instigate that shit. WAC 100 going to sit up there and interview the broad. That's exactly what WAC did. So when he says she called the weirdo, she didn't call the police. She didn't call her people. She called WAC 100. That's the first person. Well, we already know what WAC 100 is about. I'm going to be at these kind of events because oh. I do philanthropy. I do a nonprofit. I help the community. This was our community. This is where I was supposed to be. I was up there meeting some people, I didn't even notice her. <laughs> I ain't pay her no attention. But here goes the thing. If I would have slapped her, beat her up, even after she hit me with the bottle, threatened to kill me and all this other stuff, then y'all would say I was wrong. No. Not going to go out like that. Now, that is true. If Big U would have smacked her up for talking reckless to him, we would be saying, oh, Big U was wrong for that. So it was really like a no win. 
if Big U would have smacked her up and, and, and choked her out, we would have said, oh, Big U. No, I wouldn't have said he was wrong. But that you got to think about popular opinion. Everybody would have been saying Big U was wrong and Big U would have went to jail. But if Big U decides to be a grown man, like, you know what? I'm going to handle this the right way. I'm going to call the police on the broad to protect myself. People still going to say, oh, Big U's a snitch. He was wrong for that. So Big U looking at it like, nigga, I have no win. Whether I put my hands on her or call the police, I ain't got no win in this situation. So I understand. I, I get what he's saying. I'm not mad at Big U for doing what he did. But when it comes to the streets, that's a whole nother thing. Some people going to say, oh, nigga, you shouldn't have called the police. Nigga, you should have did this. Nigga, you should have did that. Oh, uh, the weirdo. Plan disrupted. Yeah. Everybody know. I'm going to be at these kind of events because I do philanthropy. I do a nonprofit. I help the community. This was our community. This is where I was supposed to be. I was up there meeting some people. I didn't even notice her. I ain't paying her no attention. But here goes the thing. If I would have slapped her, beat her up, even after she hit me, with the bottle, threatening to kill me and all this other stuff, then y'all will say I was wrong. Mm -hmm. No. Not going to go out like a lot of my brothers. You're not going to Bill Cosby me. You're not going to Diddy me. You're not going to do all the stuff you're doing to all of some of these other brothers. Because I ain't never done nothing to her. That lie she created. I got pissed with me and her just as recently as 2018 together in Vegas. She did my show on stage with a unique shout out to Roro the Great for the five. Shout out to my girl Tina for the 10. I appreciate y'all for hitting that cash app, man. Hit the like button, man. Run the numbers up, man. Let's let's get more people to subscribe subscribe to the channel. Some people say, nah, Red, you need to quit. You need to keep making this hood content because you're the voice of reason. You one of the only niggas that make content that's not biased, and you just give it to us straight up. Cause yeah, you know what's up. Hit the like button. Nick show. I think this is probably. 2014, she did a show on stage. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, you get with the weirdo, and now you hurt every time you hear my name, you're crying? Basically, what he's saying is the weirdo was WAC 100. She called up WAC 100, and you know WAC 100 going to instigate that shit. WAC 100 going to sit up there and interview the broad and he's going to instigate it because that's what WAC 100 does. That's what he do. So she ran a WAC 100 solely for that purpose. WAC 100 going to interview anybody that got something bad to say about Big U. That's just what it is. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call a spade a spade. And all these lies. When it happened. Y'all so keen on receipts. Where the receipts at? Where the receipts at? <laughs> Only person supposed to be in there is a, in a, a rest in peace. Nipsey and Fats. Boy, y'all something else. Y'all something else. It's masterful how you come up with this stuff. But yeah. you damn right. You want to be a victim when you want to be a victim. You want to be a thug when you want to be a thug. That's a female for you. Uh, Big U was right about that. These females, they'll be a victim when they want to be a victim, and they'll say, fuck you, nigga, hit me, hit me, and they're going to they try to fight and be a thug when they want to be a thug, but the fucked up part about a female is she can make all those threats. The moment you hit her, she's going to become a victim and a woman again. So they use that shit to their advantage. That's why I don't believe in putting females on the hood, because what's dangerous about a female is she can talk shit to you, challenge you like a man. And when you hit her, she'll go right back to being a victim. She'll go right back to being a woman whenever that shit is convenient to get the motherfucking laws on her side. That's what females do. So Big U is 100% correct about that. And that is what makes females dangerous because they can switch sides. They can be a thug when they want, smack on their turn, and smack on their turn right into a female again and become a victim. So yeah, Big U is right about that. All these lies. You can when it happens. You can y'all so keen on receipts? <laughs> Where the receipts at? <laughs> Where the receipts at? 
Only person supposed to be in there is a, in a, a rest in peace, Nipsey and Fats. Boy, y'all something else. Y'all something else. <laughs> it's masterful how you come up with this stuff. But yeah, you damn right. You want to be a victim when you want to be a victim. Mm -hmm. You want to be a thug when you want to be a thug. Nah. You don't get to assault me and then talk about, oh, he pressing charges? Nah, bitch. If you want to get the charges dropped, come to the hood and get that. See, now that's what 600 was saying. Big U said, nah, bitch. If you want me to drop the charges, come to the hood and get that. Pretty much saying, like, I have you squabble a homegirl. So Big U was telling you why he pressed charges on the broad. So 600 wasn't making that up, but I'm not even mad at Big U for calling the police on the broad. Do I think Big U was a snitch? I wouldn't call Big I mean, listen, it all depends on how you look at it. Some people might say, oh, nigga, you ain't supposed to call the cops under no conditions. But think about this. If Big U would have just sat up there and did nothing, she would have called the police on him and made up a gang of shit to have him arrested. And on top of that, she was egging Big U on to hit her. She wanted Big U to hit her so she can use that to have him locked up. Either way, it was a no win for Big U. If he would have, if Big U would have reached out and touched the broad, that would have put him in a bad situation. Big U calling the police on the broad. Now you got everybody calling Big U a snitch. I don't know, man. Give me y'all thoughts in the comments. So Big U said, hell yeah, I press charges. And if she want me to drop those charges, she need to come to the hood and run that. And now you hurt every time you hear my name, you're crying? Hey. And all these lies? <laughs> when it happened? <laughs> Y'all so keen on receipts? Where the receipts at? Where the receipts at? <laughs> Only person supposed to be in there is a, in a, a rest in peace. Nipsey and Fats. Boy, y'all something else. Y'all something else. <laughs> it's masterful how you come up with this stuff. But yeah. You damn right. You want to be a victim when you want to be a victim. You want to be a thug when you want to be a thug. Nah. <laughs> you don't get to assault me and then talk about, oh, he pressing charges? Nah, bitch. If you want to get the charges dropped, come to the hood and get that. Come to the hood and get that. Come on. But I'm filing a civil suit on you, though. Like you were saying you was going to break me. You and y'all your, your going to take everything from me. Y'all going to make sure I don't got nothing. Y'all going to, all the stuff you were saying. Well, y'all better get you a lawyer. Y'all better get you a lawyer because you got a civil suit coming, rich girl. And again, now the tables have turned. So you assaulted me. Now the next time. You assaulted me. <laughs> no. Nah. Tell my sons all the time. If she tell you who she is, that's who she is. You a liar. You've been a liar. And if I wouldn't have had the video, you'd have tried to press charges on me. Or you'd have been going around. See, he a he bullied me, he harassed me. I ain't say one word to you. That is true. If Big U would have never recorded that, she would have lied on him. You know how these females get down. I know for a fact if Big U didn't record that shit, she would have framed them. She would have made up lies to get Big U thrown in jail. So Big U said, in order to protect myself, I recorded the broad and I had those people call the police on the broad in order to protect myself. Now that's, now that's how I see it. Do I think Big U was a snitch for that? No, I don't think Big U was a snitch for that. I think Big U was just protecting his interests. Now me personally, I, I don't. I wouldn't have called the police. I would have just left. I would have recorded the broad, and I would have and I would have made sure that I recorded everything so the broad couldn't lie on me. But Big U felt like he had to do that to protect himself because he knew the broad was sitting up there lying on him, trying to get the police to arrest him. So hey, man, how do you guys see it? Let me know in the comments. But I didn't know you, <laughs> and I still don't know you. Dang you. Because y'all small. <laughs> but any one of the mother cats can come get this. I'm in the same place every day, all day. 
You can pull up and get this. Yes, sir. Well, she was making accusations. You hit me. You put your hands on me. You're bullying me. And she was lying. I know what now. I don't know what happened beforehand. She's saying that Big U put his hands on her before. I don't know about that. But if you listen to what she was saying, she was basically trying to make it seem like Big U was attacking her. Big U was stalking her. So Big U said, okay, I know I got to do for this. I got to record this broad so that the world can see that I'm not even saying anything to her. I'm not even within arm's distance of the broad. So Big U felt, Big U felt like he had to record that. He had to make a report to protect himself because the broad was going to sit up there and lie on him, right? But you better get them lawyers. You're rich, and I ain't going to call you an itch or a bitch, but you better get them lawyers. Because the same way you say you're going to destroy me, you're going to rob me, you're going to, oh, yeah, you're in violation. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you rich. You got a couple of million to give. Well, I'm broke, and I need that. <laughs> he was talking to whack 100 right there <laughs> he's talking about whack 100 he like okay okay <laughs> now like i told you guys man this ain't this ain't about um me taking those sides i gotta be real now let's get into the uh this is a uh the spider loc fade, man. Spider loc pulls up to the projects to catch a fade. Now I can't I can't show you guys the uh, the video because if I show the video, if I show the video, you two are gonna fuck around and get mad at me. But I'm gonna show you guys a clip. Spider loc pulled up to the to the PJs to catch a fade. He pulled up to catch a fade, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And regardless of what people say. Some people said the fight was terrible. It was absolutely horrible. And uh, I would have to agree with that. That that fade was terrible, bro. What a, it looked like a bunch of old niggas that was out of shape fighting in the projects. And it was a horrible fight. But I'm not saying that because, you know, I got love for Spider, man. But I don't want to see Spider out there fighting, man. I want Spider to, to, to get his health together and get in shape. Because seeing these 50-year-old niggas pull up for fades, man. Here it goes. Like watching 50 year old niggas pull up for a fade is just crazy. But it is what it is, man. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you called out. And shout out to Spider for, for, for handling, you know, for doing this thing. Now, this is the fade right here. All I can show you guys is a small clip. I can't show you the whole fight because you know how YouTube get. Situation is squashed. And hopefully that situation stay dead. For some <laughs> now, look. These are two, these are two 50 year old men, two 50 year old men. And it was like, man, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys where to find the video because I can't show the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct you niggas to the video. I'm going to direct you niggas to the video. Support the show is Red Supreme. Indeed. Now. It's called Lawless World Media. It's called Lawless World Media. Spider Lope pulled up for the fade, bro. To the PJ Watch Project. Boy, Spider Lope squabbling one of his G homies in they hood in front of me. And we gonna get into this madness, YouTube. One of my people happened to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Find out. And look it up. All you got to do is type it in YouTube. Uh, Spider Lope squabbling PJ Watts. Lawless World Media. Spider did pull up for the fade, man. You know, a lot of people was criticizing it. It was like, man, it was terrible. You know, it was a horrible fade. It looked like them niggas was windmilling. Well, it is what it is, man. You know, a lot of niggas that be talking that shit, they wouldn't get out there and catch a fade with nobody. So you still got to get Spider his props for pulling up and catching the fade. So shout out to Spider. You still my nigga, regardless of what anybody say, man. But yeah, man. That this situation unfolded and uh, you already know they shot it to your boy. So y'all gonna take this long as welcome me and we gonna dissect this together, YouTube. Let me shut up and let's get into it. 
Huh? Now I gotta pause it, man. I can't show the squabble. So I, all I can do is direct y'all to the uh all I can do is direct y'all to the uh to the thing because uh I don't want YouTube fucking with my page. So what we're gonna do is this. What we're gonna do is this. I don't know how I get that. How did that come up? My nigga Alfie Kingdom pop. Shout out to my nigga Alfie Kingdom. I don't know how that popped up. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on one second. But it's called Lawless Media, my nigga. It's called Lawless Media, man. And y'all can watch the full video over there about about the fade. Fight. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. What? <laughs> now he said Spider got beat up. I don't think Spider got beat up. Now, spider Loke did hit the ground, and when he hit the ground, old boy kind of punched him while he was on the ground. So I would say that old boy probably got the best of the, best of the fight, but I'm not going to say that Spider just got beat up. But if you watch the fight for yourself, you will see that Spider hit the ground, and old boy got some punches in on Spider while he was on the ground. When you really supposed to let the nigga get up, you ain't supposed to punch the homie while he's on the ground. You know, that's your homeboy. You don't punch him while he's on the ground. You let him get up. And you squabble back up, but now nah, you don't hit a man while he's down, especially the homie. <laughs> Let's go check it out, man. Spider got the paws put on him by his own people, man. I wanted to wait until I had the video, but I got. But I do got to be honest with Spider, man. Like that fade was terrible, man. And what I would say is this: if you come to the internet saying you're gonna catch a fade with somebody, the first thing niggas need to do is get in shape, man. Cause, cause what it what it looks like is, you start to look at it like, well, damn, all these game bangers who who talking about catching fades, they ain't even in shape. They're not even in shape. They really you and, and it, it's a bad look because when you hear all these fades, but when you actually see the fade, you're like, wow. So a lot of people have been making fun of this shit. They were like, man, you L.A. niggas ain't in shape. You niggas are all fat niggas out of shape. And all y'all do is talk about catching phase all day. I've seen tons of videos of niggas uh, making fun of L.A. niggas for all this hood gossip. Then you got all these YouTubers and vloggers instigating the beef every day. Now, like I say, ain't nothing wrong with giving your take on it, my nigga. But when you dedicate your whole channel to hood gossip, well, you really ain't got no talent. You're worse than Fox News, my nigga. You're worse than Fox News at that point. gotta go now you feel me i gotta go now so let's see what's going on i hear he's live and this is for educational purposes so you all can figure out how to not get beat up when you go places you feel what i'm saying um <laughs> look at you still look you drinking casamigos you need to stop drinking sir stop drinking that's why you look that's why you got beat up in the first place <laughs> look at uh get the get the liquor off your chin sir Get the liquor off your chin. Yeah, a lot of people that's criticizing Spider wouldn't pull up for a fade themselves. So you still got to get Spider for, for being man enough to pull up for the fade. Because a lot of niggas that's criticizing Spider, they wouldn't do that themselves. So shout out to Spider, though. You know, I still got to get Spider his props. Regardless of how regardless of how bad that fade was, still got to get Spider his props for pulling up. You know. Niggas notice me when I be on. This is for educational purposes, so you all can figure out how to yeah. not get beat up when you go places. You feel what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> look at you still look. You drinking Casamigos? <laughs> you need to stop drinking, sir. Stop drinking. That's why you look. That's why you got beat up in the first place. Look at uh, get the get the liquor off your chin, sir. Get the liquor off your chin. Okay, we're not gonna do the music, man. So, uh, why are we here today, man? I got some inside information that um, Spider Lo got the paws put on them. Yeah, you got the boot bops, they put they put the paws on them. Um, I'm not going to say that. I mean, I wouldn't say that Spider won the fight, but I'm not going to say that he just got beat up. I'm not going to say that either. 
it just seemed like old boy got the best of the fight and he dropped spiders to the ground and when he dropped spiders to the ground he punched on spider a few times while spider was on the ground and i can't show you guys that footage because you know how youtube get you know and i guess he's riding around to show that he's not beat up uh yeah man uh i'm gonna say it like these niggas are too old to be throwing up gang signs and pulling up for face. <laughs> How y'all feel about 50 year old niggas pulling up for face, throwing up gang signs? Hey, listen, man, I'm a content creator, man. I got to be honest with the audience and I love to get y'all feedback. How do y'all feel about 50 year old niggas throwing up gang signs, pulling up for face? How y'all feel about that? <laughs> I already know what some of y'all going to say. Like this. Y'all know when I get the content, I'm going to bring it to y'all. So um, I just wanted to go live right now because they said Spider was. Go go to Spider Lope Pulls Up for the Fade, my nigga. I'm going to show y'all what video. I'm going to show y'all what video to go. Go to Lawless World Media. Spider Lope Pulls Up for the Fade and watch. And it'll pop up and you can watch the whole video right there. Spider pulled up for the Fade, my nigga. And you can see the whole fight. And you can judge it for yourself instead of taking my word for it. In my honest opinion, the fight was terrible. It looked like two old ass niggas that was out of shape that was fighting. That's what it looked like to me, if you want my honest, humble opinion. But anyway, man, let's go. Live. I had the info <laughs> that he had just got whooped. So we're we're checking this live out now, man. <laughs> let's see what the uh let's see what the comments are talking about over here, man. Educational purposes. We just want to know. Yeah, uh, man, it was like two 50-year-old niggas pulling up for a fade. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> two 50-year-old gangbangers pulling up for a fade. That's exactly what it was, my nigga. I ain't, I, listen. Uh, this, man. we're reacting to this video to, to tell <laughs> these kids, um, do not be like him. Do not ride around <laughs> and, and, and act tough and then get beat up by your own homeboys. <laughs> Okay, so we're still playing music, but uh, let's see. He said, "What happened?" He said, "Stay on wag neck." Uh, <laughs> where's where's the, 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 the Let's see, man. I, uh, why isn't nobody talking about how you got the paws put on you, sir? That's why you're riding around showing your face, cause you got the paws put on you. Hey, look it, and I know y'all like, how do you know, money? How do you know? That's why he's going live right now. Uh, let me go back and see what did, what did he name the live or did he even name it? He didn't even name it. Okay. Well, uh, I want y'all to know that that's why he's going live to show his face because he just he, he just got beat up. You know what I mean? Um, so he got dropped. He got dropped, but he didn't just get beat up, my nigga. I got I got to add some context that Spider didn't get dog walk. He didn't just get beat up. He did get dropped, and when he hit the floor, the dude punched on him. A few times when spider hit the ground but i'm not gonna say that he just beat spider up and it was just that spider did land a few punches spider land a few blows but what i'm saying is hey man you guys can check the video out for yourself it's lawless what is it called lawless world media spider low squabble and pj watts spider low pulled up to the projects and watts to catch the fade pull up for the fade nigga on the set on the dead homies pull up for the fade nigga and spider lope pulled up for the fade he pulled up to watts in the projects for the fade so he did run it you got to get regardless of how you might feel about the fight spider did pull up to watts in the projects for the fade pull up for the fade nigga oh that's what that's about <laughs> I'm waiting on the content to show uh him getting beat up you know what I'm saying that's on the way so um yeah man this guy needs to grow up this guy's 48 years old y'all this is a 48 year old um crippled individual with, <laughs> with disabilities allegedly you feel what i'm saying um he said his wee wee don't work you feel what i'm saying he uh he did and whack 100 recorded that too whack 100 recorded it well you need to quit drinking and quit smoking and then you'll get more circulation downstairs so you can handle business in the bedroom my advice to niggas that's 50 you know you having problems doing that quit smoking quit drinking get more exercise take vitamins 
uh change your diet i don't know just giving you guys some help uh, just giving you guys some help tips so your thing start working in the bedroom man eh? him getting beat up you know what i'm saying that's on the way so um yeah man this guy needs to grow up this guy's 48 years old y'all this is a 48 year old um crippled individual with with disabilities allegedly you feel what i'm saying um he said his wee wee don't work you feel what i'm saying he uh that's why he's so angry he's not getting any uh he's not getting any of that of that of that wet wet y'all uh, he said his thing don't even work no more so um <laughs> it's crazy um <laughs> let me let me see what he's talking about. Let me see if they turn down the music. What are y'all talking about? You so slow watching from the outside looking in and talking about some punches. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Well. <laughs> not me. No, he won't. Dead homies. Yeah, nigga, on the dead homies. Pull up for the fade, nigga. In the hood every day. On the dead homies. Put up for the fade, nigga. <laughs> Turn the music off. Put up for the fade, nigga. Meet me in the projects in Watts. Put up for the fade, nigga. And you thinking like, God damn, man, these niggas. <laughs> At 50 years old, pulling up a face. Hey, man, but I can't knock them. If that's what they want to do, that's what they going to do. On the dead homies. Pull up for the pay, nigga. <laughs> you saw it, Virgil. Shout out to my man, Virgil, man. I know you saw that squabble, my nigga. I'm going to hit you, Virgil. After I'm done with this stream, my nigga, I'm going to hit you, and we going to chop it up, my nigga. You know, uh, I think we can make some content out of this, Virgil. So I will be hitting your line after this stream, my dog. Man, but I know you saw it, right? And most people who saw it was like, man, that fade was terrible. I'm just giving you the people's honest opinion. All right, man, because he's not going. <laughs> who whooped you? Yeah. <laughs> spider low got grandkids my nigga and see this is the problem sometimes you know shit like that can go wrong man my nigga spider low got grandkids my nigga going to the projects and pulling up for a fade at 50. i'm not knocking you for it my nigga because i guess you feel like you was called out so like a man you pulled up but for the bigger picture throwing up gang signs at 50 meeting up with niggas for phase at 50 i i guess my nigga you know i, I who am i to knock it if that's what niggas want to do let's go yo no jumper premiere right now tell everyone <laughs> uh nigga, streets alonzo shut your goofy ass up man <laughs> you know you must get you must get a percentage of this of this slaw as those percentages because you want him to let people know to go watch that slaw as video <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey man, I'll be right back. Uh, I don't want to let his shit. Well, you know what? We're gonna let it run. I'll be right back, y'all. Here we go. This guy is so. This guy is such a slaw individual, bro. Why are you guys riding around in, with three hundred dollars in in twenties? And this guy all in the yeah, I got this weed tray with no weed on it. I don't even know why niggas show money in the camera. Like that's just like that shit is so two thousand. Because people with real money don't flash money in the camera, my nigga. That's for broke people. You're not, you're not going to see me pulling out stacks. And, and I I could do it, but it's, it's like, what's the point? I don't know why grown-ass men love flashing money on camera, my nigga. That shit is played out. That's just played out, my nigga. I guess niggas be so happy to have money that they got to pull it out on camera to show everybody. I don't know, man. I get it. But 
it's I, I, I've never did that shit. I've never got into that. Let me show money on the camera to let people know I ain't broke. Nah, my nigga. Come on, man. I'm just irritated with y'all, bro. In my projects. In my projects. Come yeah. see me in my projects on the set. These guys are so goofy, goofy for real. This is goofy activity, man. Um, I really, I really thought that. Shout out to my man Jesse for the twenty, man. He said, "I appreciate your content, Red Supreme. Keep it coming." Shout out to my man Jesse for the twenty on the cash app. And listen, homie, like yelling out on the set. Throwing up gang signs on camera and you a grandfather, that's a bad look. And SPI, my nigga, man, I don't want to see Spider Low looking bad like that, bro. You, you know, you're not going to hear me making videos speaking bad on, on, on Spider, man. I got love for Spider. But that fade was terrible, though. I got to be real, man. Trying to keep it respectful, as respectful as I can. The fade was terrible, my nigga. And I'm pretty sure if you watch that fade yourself, you would say the same thing. It was terrible, my nigga. It was a bad look. Especially when you see niggas getting on camera talking about catching a fade all the time. It was terrible. I got to be honest. Uh, He was going to be out here looking for action or something. <laughs> He's actually just riding around, just having fun after getting disciplined. So, um, you know, I'm really actually. Yeah, it's a bad look for the West Coast, man. When you see a bunch of 50 year olds pulling up for a fade. And when you look at the quality of the fade, it was just terrible, my nigga. It was it, it, that. That shit was terrible, bro. You know, they would have been better off doing that shit off camera to settle their differences instead of recording that shit for the whole world to see. It was that bad, my nigga, in my honest opinion. And when I look at what everybody else is saying, they're saying the same thing. It was terrible. <laughs> Actually kind of bored with this. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to be looking for some real, like, uh, I thought he was going to be on business. You just riding around happy that, that they didn't beat you up too bad, and, you know, and you can still be from the hood. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, I wish I had more context of why he was whooped. I'm not going to assume or lie on buddy. Um, you know, basically, I'm just I'm just going to let y'all know what I do know to be true or uh, allegedly. Uh, buddy, has uh oh, so here we go. They go loose cannon right there, man. You know, loose cannon is the one that threw threw them accusations on Big U. Now I don't know why niggas would incriminate Big U on camera like that. I mean, if you do, if you feel like Big U has something to do with the Nipsey Hustle thing, why discuss that on camera, my nigga? But I understand the era that we live in today. People do everything for attention and clout. But why? But why? Why incriminate Big U like that on camera if if you felt like that was true? And shout out to Lewis Cannon, man. Maybe he has his reasons, man. I can't knock the brother. I'm just talking about myself and my beliefs. I wouldn't get on camera and say that, even if I felt like it was true. But let's go. Dang. Instagram, ball, ball. All right, hold on. Uh oh, pull up for the fade, nigga. No, I can't show y'all the fade. So, Listen, you can watch this channel right here, too. I can't show you guys the squabble, man, because you know how YouTube get. So go to uh, Demon Time Exotics. Spider Low beat up by his own hood. And, uh, um, and you know, Spider pulls up to watch California to the projects to catch the fade. So that's Spider right there. That's Spider. He pulled up for the fade, my nigga. Can't say he didn't. He pulled up. Look, see that that's that's still right there. Yeah, nigga, pull up for the fade, nigga. And he, yeah. <laughs> but I would say that the dude in the white shirt got the best of the fight. I'm not gonna say that Spider got beat up. Spider did his thing, he threw some punches. But overall, the fight was just terrible, man. That's all I'm gonna say.
See, look, that's when Spider hit the ground. See, I can't show the punches, but see, that's when Spider hit the ground. And when Spider hit the ground, old boy hitting with a few blows while he was on the ground, like beep, pop, beep, pop, boom, boom, boom. And then he backed up to let Spider get back to his feet. But this happened in Watts, California, man, in the projects, the Imperial Courts. He pulled up and caught that fade, my nigga. He caught, he found what he was looking for. He pulled up and, and, and caught a fade. He found what he was looking for. Now, you guys go watch the fade for yourself and you give me your thoughts on it. You tell me what you guys think about it. Should Spider Lope just focus on his podcasting career and quit entertaining hood politics? Or would you like to see Spider Lope pull up for a fade with 600? In your honest, humble opinion, what do you think would happen if Spider Lope pulled up to catch that fade with 600? How y'all think that would go? Give me your thoughts in the comments. But that's Spider Loke on the ground right there. That's Spider Loke on the ground. And when he hit the ground, old boy kind of punched on him a little bit. How do you guys how do you guys think that fight would play out if Spider pulled up one on one, not with a gang of niggas with him that want to fight 600 as well? Spider Loke pulls up by himself to catch a fade with 600. How y'all think that fight would go? Give me y'all give me y'all thoughts on that, man. <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so that's what i meant when i said if you think that spider low marked out 600 you you niggas lack intelligence you niggas lack critical thinking skills he said i got my money on 600 he said spider cool but he can't fuck with 600 i, I will i will put my money on 600 as well i will put my money on 600 he said, I got my money on 600. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't know if he threw him down or knocked him down. Either way, he had him on the ground and he hit him with a few blows while he was on the ground. So you might be right about that. He probably did throw him to the ground. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, SPI versus 600 need to be postponed for a year while they both get in shape. <laughs> he said i thought spider had hands lol <laughs> he said uh both of them goofy but 600 would smash him up see i say 600 would win because 600 boxes he he gets in the gym he boxes in the gym there's no way that Spider Loke is winning that fade versus 600 one on one. I don't see that happening. I'm not saying that 600 is the best fighter, but I don't see Spider Loke winning a fight with 600 one on one. I just don't see that happening. And I got to be real with you guys and get my honest opinion. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. <laughs> he said, Loke look like he in bad shape, Jack. We just found out. <laughs> You cold for that. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> you crazy for that one. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh shit, man. I need y'all to hit that like button, man. I need everybody to share this content. Uh, because hey man, we broke down some real politics, but we wasn't biased about it. I said that 600 need to get off the internet talking about hood politics. Because he got a lot of problems in his own backyard that he's gonna have to clean up. Because if you look at when Spider Lope pulled out to that parking lot to catch the fade with 600, do you know how many niggas was in that parking lot that was trying to fight 600? So if 600 did pull up, he would have had to run like five fades. Now I get it. It's a time and a place for that. Maybe 600 does got to go to the hood at some time and catch his DP. I don't know. But if we're talking about one-on-one -on -one Spider versus 600, then why would 600 pull up when he got to fight five niggas instead of just catching that one-on-one -on -one with Spider? Give me all thoughts on that, man. We use critical thinking skills over here. We don't roll with popular opinion. We, we, we got enough common sense to think for ourselves. So 
but that's all it was man if you look at that fight listen i'm gonna show you how many niggas spider low versus 600 watch this it was a gang of niggas in that parking lot man now watch this let's go right here it wasn't just uh it'd be one thing if it was just gonna be between 600 and spider low but nah man it was a gang of niggas in the parking lot who wanted to fight 600 so like i said if 600 did pull up to that parking lot he would have had to run like four or five fades and 600 thing like nigga, i'm not gonna do that my problem is with uh, uh spider low it's got to be me and spider low going one-on-one -on -one. so for everybody that said that spider low marked out 600 you niggas lack critical thinking skills you niggas are just like cheerleaders you just follow popular opinion you lack the ability to think for yourself there is no way that 600 was scared to take a fight with spider low i don't believe that then we, when you look at all these niggas in the parking lot that had a problem with 600 why would he pull up to fight all these niggas by himself fat boy where you at crip good back to shoes Hey, homie. <laughs> I'm just saying. You said you want to fake. I'm in mean, your set, cuz. You really fake. Everybody safe. Yeah, yeah. Cameras and everything. Not worry about no real shit. That's squabble, Crip. Where you at? How you put? Bring whoever you want to bring with you. Any of them weirdos that's on your nuts? So now Spider saying, bring whoever you want to bring with you. I guess that was supposed to make the, the, uh, the fight fair, right? Now, I don't think, I don't, like, I got, listen. I got enough discernment and common sense to know that 600 is not scared to fight spider low especially after he watched that fight i'm pretty sure after watching that fight and i'm pretty sure he wasn't scared to catch a fade with him anyway but i don't think 600 is scared to fight spider low man put a one listen put a one in the chat if you feel like 600 is scared to fight spider low put a two in the chat if you know that 600 ain't scared to fight to fight spider low Put a one in the chat if you feel like 600 was scared to fight Spider Low. Put a two in the chat if you feel like 600 didn't pull up because he realized he would he would have had to catch multiple fades. So give me your thoughts, your thoughts in the comments if you think 600 was scared or if you think that 600 was like, nah, my niggas got to be me and you one on one. What you got all these niggas for? Eastside niggas or whoever, bring with you. Crip. <laughs> hey he might listen this is the thing this is the thing i don't think i don't think my thing is this my nigga i don't think 600 was scared of spider load one-on-one i think i think 600 was scared of that dp i think he was scared of that dp he had coming that's what i believe Oh no, honey, you check the six holes your backyard. Come on, you can get it too. I been dying to squabble you, Crip. Pull up, it's your backyard, Crip. Remember? Oh, world, no. Pull up to your backyard. Well, we already knew they ain't killed so I'm about to get here where I can get it. Yeah. 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 We're gonna get this money. Hope you pull right back up, man. Anytime you're ready, cuz I know you ain't pulling up, Hope, but let us know. Yeah, yeah. homies. listen man we all have fun with this content but let me be real with you guys though man i'm not here to instigate this shit man um i don't want to see i don't want to see this shit escalate to somewhere else man because you got to think spider low got kids he got grandkids my nigga so we don't want to see nothing happen to spider at all and we don't want to see nothing happen to 600 these brothers they both crips they both neighborhood so if they do it need to be a friendly fade and leave it at that i don't want to see i don't want to see nobody get hurt around this shit and you know i'm guilty for talking about this shit myself but one thing i can say about myself is this my nigga i don't instigate hood beefs like that i just get my perspective on it and give my honest opinion but do i come here to disrespect somebody no i just get my honest opinion about what's going on man and like i said these brothers got i don't know about 600 but i know that spider got kids man uh spider needs his kid uh spider uh your kids need you my nigga and uh 
from the looks of it, man, I heard that Spider's a good father. He's active in his kid's life, man. And, and that's a positive thing. But when he's like, if you keep meeting up for phase and it's all this internet stuff, eventually something gonna happen, my nigga. And we don't want to see nothing happen to our brothers, man. We already got enough fallen soldiers, man. So I'm gonna wrap this stream up, man. I don't want to carry on for too long, but to be honest, in my honest, humble opinion, I don't think that 600 was scared to fight spider log one-on-one. -on -one. 600 was more so worried about getting DP because it was a gang of niggas up there who didn't like him. It's a gang of niggas that was up there who didn't like him. And let's say that 600 did bring some niggas with him. And, and, and the shit got ugly. Now, it's, it's a bigger problem. Somebody might have put whipped out. Somebody gets shot. And next to you know, it's, 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 it's a whole lot of drama over some shit that could have been uh, squashed. But when you got egos and uh, niggas got their egos and reputations on the line, shit goes left real quick man and then and you got to think the spectators and these youtubers they want to see they want to see drama because that's how they make their money you look at my channel my nigga i might make one or two videos about this shit but i don't dedicate my whole channel into instigating hood beefs you know some of these niggas dedicate their whole channels instigating shit like this now i'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see niggas they're gonna make like 10 videos about the same subject and they're gonna and they're gonna continue to feed off this negativity so that they can make their little YouTube money. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I gotta I gotta go. Shout out to Spider, man. Shout out to Spider, man. It, it is what it is. Uh, I don't want I don't I don't I don't want I don't want I don't want to carry on with this conversation for too long. I got some things to do. I would drop the link, my brothers, but I got I got I got some things that I got to take care of, man. And um. Maybe I'll come back later. But then again, I don't want to instigate this shit because then it's going to make it seem like I'm doing the same thing the rest of these niggas are doing, instigating hood beasts, egging on hood beasts. And I'm not trying to do that, my nigga. I'm a content creator and I just come here to get my honest, humble opinion and I speak from my perspective, my nigga. That's all I do. So we going to get up out of here, man. Share this content. But if I do come back later, I will drop the link and bring everybody up to speak to get their honest, humble opinion about this shit, man. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm gone.